Today we celebrate a remarkable anniversary. Yom Ha'atzmaut is the celebration of a modern miracle. The land of Israel, our spiritual center, opened up to Jewish living and returned to Jewish sovereignty. An ingathering of exiles comprising survivors and refugees, whole communities airlifted from Arab lands, and Olim in their hundreds of thousands who have chosen to build the Jewish state. Even when crises from natural disaster or terror blight the world beyond, rescue teams and know-how from Israel are amongst the first on the ground, bringing life and hope in the face of disaster and suffering. This year, as we face unprecedented international challenges, we are particularly grateful for what Israel has given us and the world. Our doctors are at the forefront of pioneering technologies and research. As we confront lockdown, we note Israel's development of the computer chips, VIPO and messaging that keeps us in touch and learning, even the underlying firmware of the Kindles we're reading at home. In an age where sustainability is key, we celebrate Israel's achievements in irrigation, crop resistance, all leading to greater productivity and affordability. Israel is a world leader in pioneering solar and geothermal energy, desalination and water conservation. It is committed to increasing its share of renewable energy and electricity generation to 10% by 2020. And in that same period, Israel plans to reduce its electricity consumption by 20%. Bringing us safety as a people, modeling high standards of democratic accountability, radiating Torah to the diaspora, Israel gives light to the nations. The salvation of our people is the salvation of our world. How fortunate are we to live in this world, seeing the fulfillment of our ancestors' prayers and the realization of prophetic dreams. How fortunate when so many of our parents and our grandparents witnessed what many feared to be a final chapter in the history of the Jewish people. On Yom HaZikaron and Yom HaAtzma'ut, we honor the sacrifice and heroism of those who fought to establish our state and security. We honor those who continue to fight terror warfare and lawfare across borders and even on university campuses. We thank Hashem for showing us his strong hand and outstretched arm. May he continue to protect us and guide us and may he grant us peace.